Hey everyone, Elite here, back again with another episode of Pokemon Showdown. In today's episode, we are doing the Generation 5 episode of the Mono Gen Week. Generation 5 has got a very large and diverse cast of Pokemon. A lot of them are kind of rip-offs of the old ones. A lot of them have kind of unoriginal designs, but a lot of them are also really cool and really fun to use. And a very large portion of the OU Mita game actually has these Pokemon, which is why I was... I had a lot of fun making this team. A lot of my favorite Pokemon to use in battle on this team. In fact, out of my what, top five Pokemon, I'd say two of them are in this team. But without further delay, let me introduce the team. The first Pokemon is Scolipede. The Assault Vest Speed Boost. You've seen the Scolipede before. It does work. It takes hits. It hits hard. It's not pure offense, but it's pure speed. And it's got a very substantial amount of special defense that I'll be able to put it in against surprising threats and it will survive. Which makes Speed Boost that much more viable. Because I'm on the battlefield longer. Next is Ferrothorn. Once again, I've used Ferrothorn in battle, but I don't believe I've actually used it on camera before. So I'll introduce you to one of my absolute favorite walls in the, the metagame. The Spikes Gyarable Leech Seed Protect. It's a very stally moveset. And Gyroball's boosted even more because not only is its speed all the way down, but I also removed all the IVs on it. I get the max damage out of Gyroball that I can get. Got the Iron Barb's ability with leftovers. This thing can just sit and wait, and it's going to tank everything in sight. The only thing wrong with it really is its speed, not that that matters. It's so slow, nothing... It wouldn't now speed anything but a shuckle. Next up is Chandelure. The choice specs. Flash fire. Squeaky chair. Next up is the Chandelure with the choice specs. Flash fire. This Chandelure you definitely saw in my UU battle, I believe. That episode. Chandelure is a very, very good special attack in Wall Breaker. With its specs, it can do just about anything. Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Hex. Hex is important because of any, if many of my Pokemon have a status move, Hex is just going to do massive amounts of damage. But I don't really need to say much about it. It's fast and it hits hard. That's exactly what Shindler is meant to do, and that's exactly what it's done for me. Next, <clears throat> next I have Landorus, which is a very, very popular Pokemon in the OU metagame. It's very common, you've seen it in a lot of my videos. With Leftovers and Intimidate, it's gonna weaken just about any Pokemon, it's gonna take hits because of that, and Leftovers is gonna keep it on a battlefield for a long time. The Stealth Rock for setups, Earthquake, U-Turn, and Knockoff. It's a very hefty attacker with really good stats all around but just a colossal attack stat. Nothing else to say there. Next up is Meloetta. Meloetta is actually a personal favorite Pokemon. Meloetta is actually a personal favorite Pokemon of mine. Well, it's definitely not one of my like, favorite Pokemon of all time. Battle-wise, it is a very good because look at that colossal amount of special attack and special defense it's got. It's essentially got the same stats as... Hold on. Next up, we have Meloetta with the Assault Vest and Serene Grace ability. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing offensively, but its special defense is absolutely amazing, and it's going to tank a lot of hits. Especially now that it's holding the Assault Vest, this Pokemon is an absolute wall at this point. With a Colossal 390 special defense with the Assault Vest boost. However, because of Assault Vest, there is no setting up. 
Thunder Dazzling Gleams, Dazzling Gleams, Psychic, and Hyper Voice. I'm gonna hit hard, but I'm gonna take hits even better. Lastly is Hurum Black, holding the Life Orb, a terrible ability. It's got Ice Beam, Outrage, Fusion Bolt, Roost. It's a very mixed set, but at the same time, every single one of these moves is going to hit very hard, and with a reliable amount of recovery, it makes Life Orb a very, very safe bet. And Life Orb boosts you both attack and special attack. Overall, it's a very safe pick. So I decided to swap out Hex with Hidden Power Fighting, just not only to have a unique fighting type move on here that will still do a lot of damage, and have reliable effectiveness with Chandelier fighting against normal types, but also because Hex is not useful because my team does not rely on statuses like my other teams have. There are no actual status moves on my team, and the only chance is caused by said Pokemon. But Without any delay, let's start the first battle. And already we're off to an interesting start with three flying type Pokemon. Well, Stealth Rock's gonna be fun. I'm gonna love using Stealth Rock. With the Intimidate, I imagine that this Swampert is going to go for Aqua Jet. But I'm going to survive Aqua Jet. So I'm going to use Stealth Rock immediately. They actually toxic Landorus. I'm guessing this Swampert is Mega. So. I really don't know what to swap into because I'm absolutely sure it's going to go for this. You know what? I'm actually going to go into my Ferrothorn. And. Burning the Ferrothorn would be really bad. I'm gonna try to go for the Leech Seed. I get the Leech Seed. And I slowly drain it of its health. I'm now gonna throw down Spikes. And if it's not gonna do anything about it, I'm gonna. It did. I did not get the burn, luckily. And I should be able to throw down spikes at least one more time. It's gonna scold me again. I know it's trying to burn, but it's not gonna get the. So at this point, I'm going to. I'd like to bait it out, but there's not really anything I can do here. And Skull is just going to do massive amounts of damage to everyone else on the team, besides Meloetta. However, if Meloetta gets burned, that is a problem, but it's a problem that I can deal with. Meloetta also did not get burned. I'm actually quite surprised. Go for the Stab Hyper Voice, and it's going to do massive amounts of damage to Swampert. Meloetta is now toxic. But I suppose Leech Seed will keep Meloetta happy for a bit. I don't have anything to handle statuses, sadly. But it's best to happen to the Pokemon that are out front instead of my powerhouse. Because... The thing about Chandelier and... Um, Black is that they're both really good at cleaning house. They're amazing follow-up Pokemon. Got a critical hit crunch. I should have swapped out, but at that point, Meloetta didn't really need to stay in. So now I'm going to go into the Landorus. Lowering Luxury's attack. They're going to swap out. That's where I'm going for the knockoff. Excuse me. I killed the Luxury with knockoff, expecting to swap out, but it. <coughs> but it doesn't matter. So... Now I wait for... them to go. This is a very tense and serious battle, and I'm already kind of enjoying this. 
That's why I said I really like this team. It can take on just about any combination, and overall, it's just incredibly tough. Townflame is more than likely going to go for the Gale Wings. But there's no reason to stay in. Landris's defenses just aren't good enough to handle this while well, it's already toxic. But I suppose it also has served its purpose already, so it actually went for the Flare Blitz. Still killing Landris. Well, if this thing is actually choiced, I suppose I can go into Chandelier now. Now is as good as time as any. And considering the typing on, typings of their team, I'm going to lock myself into Shadow Ball. It went into Noivern, but it doesn't matter. I get the Shadow Ball, it crits, knocking them out. Although, Townflame goes down to stones. A Halucha takes spike damage. Oh wait, no, it's a flying type. Halucha is an odd Pokemon. Aerial Ice does a lot of damage, but Shadow Ball kills. Now I imagine this is their Mega. So I'm curious what this thing is going to do. It does Dragon Pulse me out. Skullpeed's defense is pretty difficult to deal with. So I'm fairly confident that I can just go for Mega Horn. And take... That was a very good battle. I'm very happy with that one. And as you can see, that team is really fun to use. It's got a lot of strategy to it, but it doesn't rely on statuses a lot like my other teams have. And I know that's a bit different, but different's kind of a good thing. It definitely gives a lot of diversity, and it's teaching me a lot of things about these Pokemon that I never knew. So, I think... And I'm really liking the whole idea of the Mono Gen Week because it's teaching me about all these new Pokemon. And I'm learning the metagame a lot better than I would have without doing this. So, I'm going to start the next battle. Here's an odd one. I say that about all of them because I don't play OU ever. But still. Two flying types. I think it's kind of guaranteed that uh, sending up a Stealth Rock is smart. They used Foul Play. Ooh. I don't like that. So to make up for that, I think it'd be best to U-turn into the Ferrothorn, which can tank just about anything. It's got a decent attack stat, actually. Not that that matters. So I'm going to Leech Seed. They've cleared... Ooh, they cleared the rocks. Smart. At this point, it's smart to Gyro Ball. Gyro Ball should do a massive amount of... Oh, no, it doesn't... <laughs> Oh, great. Am I gonna have to sit here and just stall this Mandibuzz out? Because I don't. I really don't want to do that. Is that the Gudra? Imagine Gudra has a fire type move. So it would be best to go out into Chandelier. Plus, Chandelier's defenses are really good. But. If it's a ground type move. Hmm. That's the thing. You never know what Boudreaux is going to give you. Drawer, Chandelier takes it like a champ. 
and now I'll just throw the fire blast right at him with the flash fire boost. I do massive amounts of damage every time it hits. So, Excadrill is going to move incredibly fast and one-shot Chandelier, because that's exactly what he's built to do, is one-shot my entire team. So, I plan on sending Ferrothorn back out, actually. Rock Slide does little to nothing. And I want to scout and see what else this thing has to offer. Or perhaps they're going to swap out. They actually want another Dragonite, which I Leech Seed. I mean, Ferrothorn isn't really meant to do anything but to just kind of mess with the enemy. I'm going to protect. And that was actually a bad play. Lopunny's gonna have a fighting type move. So that means I go into Chandelier again. That's scrappy. But it missed. So I'm actually gonna go for hidden power fighting of my own, and high jump kicks is one shot. At this point. I think I can safely go on to school if he, because fighting is very not very resistant at all. An earthquake wrecks everything on. Well, no, it doesn't. But I suppose I'm not choice. Breloom comes out. But with speed boost, I don't know why you'd send out Breloom. I'm gonna use Poison Jab and kill the Breloom. I don't know why they sent that out, honestly. But now with two speed boosts, I definitely outspeed the stupid, annoying Excadrill. But first, I gotta deal with the Dragon Knight. Is he gonna. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my resistances because I'm stupid or something. Poison Jab. Poison Jab, Poison Jab, Poison Jab. It went for Dragon Dance. Why? E speed. Okay. That was a smart move. But against Ferrothorn, it's pointless. Now just Leech Seed whatever comes out. And Dragonite's health is going to be incredibly low. But expecting to switch out. They did not swap out. I throw down the spikes. And Leech Seed kills Dragonite healing me. I really wasn't sure about that play, honestly. I'm glad it worked out. Look, money comes out again. I hate this thing so much. I'm curious. If the uh, high jump kick hits a protect, that doesn't count as a miss, does it? Ferrothorn's defenses are good enough that I'm just going to play risky, and I'm actually going to leap seek. It's got fire punch. Damn it. Okay. Oh, this Mike Mellowhead is going to have to come out. I don't know if it's going to survive any of this. So it's best if I just go for the Hyper Voice. No, it's best if I just go for the Dazzling Blame. That's going to kill the Mandibus. Actually, it's not. Hopefully this Mandibus isn't invested in speed. It is not. So I take the Mandibus down. That was a risky play. Mega Little Pony comes back out with little to no health. And it fakes me out. I jump kick lands. I should have sent out, sent out Landorus with the stupid Intimidate. A 
this point, I have to Earthquake. Okay, so this thing's revealed I Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Fake Out, High Jump Kick. So, I mean, at this point, there's not too much here to do. I'm just gonna Ice Beam. And High Jump Kick, one hit, kills because of a crit. That's a good way to go out. <laughs> well, once again, your team wins because they had a fucking Excadrill. Whatever. I'm gonna start hating that Pokemon now. I don't know. I don't... Megalopony was a good Pokemon, and I shouldn't have swapped into Chandelier. That was a bad move, because I forgot about the Scrappy ability until I'd already done it. But the Excadrill, that Pokemon is just too good. But let's move on to the last battle. This is a team I, I kind of expected from going to know you, actually. It's a really good looking team. I'm going to go in for Landorus. I really like saving up my spikes early. So. Oh. No, fuck me then, you know. Leech Seed. I'll take all the stupid hits then. Do you go into Heatria? I mean, yeah, fire, sure. Uh, I, I can deal with fire. Ooh, you set up Stealth Rocks, but Chandelier is already out. And it is going to... I'm actually going to use Fire Blast. I wish I'd use Energy Ball now. I'm gonna have to swap back in the Ferrothorn. Now I'm gonna throw spikes down. And protect just to scout what it's gonna do. So it did go for flamethrower. And that's a completely safe reason to go in Shamble. To absorb the flamethrower. And I can now Shadow Ball. I don't know why I did Shadow Ball first thing. They did not swap out, but the Earth Power killed Shindler in the process. Flamethrower kills Ferrothorn. So I go for the Earthquake, kill me Heatran. Luckily I have my speed boost up now, so I can rely on that. However, Stabilized Prankster, can't rely on that. That's gonna screw me over. It's gonna burn, but I'll just have to go for the Mega Horn anyway. It does virtually nothing. Oh, I'm just gonna go for the poison jab and okay. So the good news is I got speed boost. The bad news is that's and that's the win for them. I don't really have anything to say right now. I'm not mad. I just. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. And this thing's not gonna tank Meloetta. It's not gonna deal with any of Meloetta shit. You missed the Willow. That would have been nice earlier, honestly. Not that it matters, you were just Willowed again, but still, it would have been nice. So, I imagine they're going to send out the Metagross, yes. And I can Thunder, which is a 60% chance to para. I 
Let's get this in now, speed. Please do not miss for the love of everything. Thank you. That was my one chance, and it all worked out. Not really. I'm gonna go for Thunder again, but I know it's good Aqua Jet. So now all that's left is Cure Him. And it has done nothing for my team at all, so I'm glad I have it. I'm just gonna Fusion Bolt. And I don't really think they can do too much to me at this point, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the Roost. And Ice Beam. One hit kill. I don't know what this Rosary can do. I know, I know it's got an amazing special defense. Though. So I'm gonna have to put my cards right here. Goes for Sludge Bomb. It got the poison. I'm gonna have to go for Outrage. Outrage kills, and that is the end of the battle. So in in the whole struggle, the entire time, I turned it around at the end. I told you, Kurum is an amazing, an amazing cleanup sweeper, and I was not lying. I'm so glad to have this thing. Even if it did very little, it won me that battle, and that's all I needed. But, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the... I hope you're enjoying the Monogen week. Tomorrow's the last day of Monogen, so... You know what that means, 6th gen. The most limited selection I can possibly get. But, with all that aside... Sorry if the video's a little shorter, but... That's probably because there was no forfeits this time around, and people actually decided to finish their battles. Good job, them. Good job, online players. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next